Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making banana pancakes. Mm -mm. Now, I have saved my ripe bananas and I save them in a Ziploc bag. I peel them and when they're really ripe, I put them in, the, in a Ziploc and freeze them. So I took out my ba two bananas, two ripe bananas that I had frozen, took them out and smushed them up already. So they're really smushy and you want them as smush as you can um, if you have to put them in a processor or in the blender to, to mix it up do that I'm doing all this manually okay to this I'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar to the banana and I'm gonna mix it in Smush it, smush it. Sweeten up that man. See? All smush. Okay. Then to this, I'm going to add, start adding my um dry ingredients. So I'm going to take two teaspoons of thunder baking powder. I have two cups of flour, two eggs, And I'm going to mix that up. Make sure that's all incorporated. The banana is all in that flour. Kind of make it like a paste. Then I'm going to add, and this is where it's going to get one cup a whipping cream, not heavy whipping cream, but regular whipping cream. And half a cup of sour cream. And mix all that in till it becomes a batter. I already have my skillet on very hot. You're just going to mix. If you have an electric mixer, use it. I'm doing everything manually today. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of melted butter. Mix that up. See how that batter is? It's a bit thick, but that's good. You want that fluffy batter, that fluffy pancake. And then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of vanilla. I'm using Mexican vanilla today. Mexican vanilla blend. Mix it. Ah, smells good. It's 
น่าจะเป็นนั้นแหละคุณจะเป็นนั้นแหละแล้วคุณจะทำการผสมน้ำซุปซึ่งสำหรับฉันนี่คือน้ำซุปนี่คือน้ำซุปที่ไทยทำได้Some of us are superstitious. So I'm mixing that in, and that is ready. Ooh, it's gonna rain tonight. That's why my dog is right behind me. My dog is scared of thunder. He freaks out. That's his right down. So he's right under my feet right now. Okay. So that's mixed in. Let it sit there for a little bit, and you're gonna butter your pan. Get that sizzle. Make sure it's all buttered up. Let that melt. My little ladder, my little scoop. I should have turned this one too. And we're gonna start making our pancake. And I hope you can see. Let me put this closer. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Warm pancake, and I usually just kind of make a circle. I don't know how big you want it. I'm making little ones. My second one over here, and I just kind of swirl it around, make a little circle. If it was more watery, and if you want it more watery, you can do that. It will just, you know. I like to form my little pancakes, and I like the thickness because it fluffs up better. And you're just gonna sit, and you're gonna wait till you see bubbles. You're gonna see bubbles on on the front of it. You don't touch it until you start seeing bubbles. That's how you know if the bottom is ready. So I'm gonna let that bubble up, and when it starts bubbling up, we're gonna flip. Okay. My pancakes are starting to bubble up. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it on the camera? The lighting is not a lot of it. But I think you can. It's starting to bubble up, so it's time to flip them. And this is a healthy alternative. You don't have to use whipping cream. You can use milk. You don't have to use sour cream. You can just use milk. Um, I am using sour cream because I'm using whipping cream. Um, you don't have milk or none of them. You could just use the sour cream, believe it or not, and some water. Um, it is raining outside. You okay, Odie? Yeah, Odie's like right alone. Yum, yum. This will also be good using um, coconut flour. If you're on the keto, use coconut flour. Instead of regular flour, I use regular flour. Um, yeah, good alternative. And almond flour, uh, almond flour, sour, sour cream, and whipping cream. Those are keto friendly, I believe. So, for those on those type of diets, this is a good alternative. Let's get this side. Voila. 
I sometimes kind of do this just and then press it down to make sure no batter comes out. But now it's coming out. That's actually pretty. So I'm going to plate this. And I'm going to eat two little pancakes. I'm make two pancakes for now. Move that out of the way. Pancake. I don't have any more bananas, all my bananas are frozen. But if you have fresh bananas, you can cut up some bananas on top. Um, you can put sugar on top. Be creative. I have my syrup here. But I also have dulce leche. And because I have really bad sweet tooth, unfortunately I don't have whipped cream because it will be perfect. I'm going to put some dulce leche on mine. And just drizzle. Dulce leche on mine. Just like that. Whipped cream on this. That is it. That's all you need. Oh, it's okay. Let's do, let's taste this. Look how good this looks. I could taste that banana. I'm not a banana lover, but I, I wanted to try it with the banana. It's real good, but I need some more sweetness. So I'm gonna add syrup too. Because I'm a fat ass like that. And like I said, I have a sweet tooth. These packages are good. Hot. Right off the skillet, so it's really hot. That banana is a little thick, so when you smush it up, probably smush it up a little bit more. But yeah, here's breakfast. You want it a little bit more fluffier? Um, use regular milk. Really good. Make it a little bit more watery versus as thick as I have it. But it really is good. I need a big old glass of milk right now. Like, I seriously have a sweet tooth. And I just mix these two. And I'm like, it's not even sweet enough for me right now. That's what's horrible. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Optional. Syrup, yeah. Whipping cream, optional. Regular milk is fine. You use regular milk. You don't have to use sour cream. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. I only used it because I kind of wanted it as a substitute since I was not using them. So, toodaloo, have a good one.